Okay, so we got the bull rigger bollard set up here on an old oak tree. It's set up flush against uh, the trunk. There's a little gap in here, but it's the base of the bollard is directly up against the tree. And you can tell here, it's really solid. So we got the rope coming out. You can see it, it quite a bit of an angle going through the fair leads. And this rope can go side to side. And it's not going to come out of there. And for backup, we got another one down here, another fair lead down here, which keeps the rope in order. And I have a, a elm log up there. Let's see if we can zoom in on it. Yeah, right up there, which is about 20 feet up. It's not very high, and it's not very big and heavy. But this is just to show the control and the performance of it. And I know it's not a full, a really good demonstration, but it'll do for now. Okay, so as you can see, we got the bollard set up with one and a half wraps, which this thing gives really good friction. This is a 5 8 polydyne rope, and you can see the bend radius on it is, I mean, it's excellent. Couldn't ask for better bend radius. So, we got the log up in the tree, and we're just going to let it run slowly. And stop. And that's how it works. A little rigger bollard. Coming soon. But hopefully here within the next week or so, I'll be able to actually drop some big limbs out of the out of the out of the tops and put it to the actual test. I want to actually shock load it and see what what exactly happens. So I might just try that right now and lift it up there again, give it some slack, and then just let it go.